What's up YouTube? So today, I'm going to show you how to knead some clay. And the method I'm going to be using is the ram's head method. So if you can see here, get this to focus. See how that spirals? That's condensing your clay to make it more workable when you put it on the wheel. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to knead your clay. So here's a couple that I've already done. And this clay right now is a little bit more plastic, a little bit wetter than I'd like it to be. Um, but yeah, should be in the shape of a ram head whenever you get done. And over here I have some clay balls, so I'm going to throw those, well, I'm going to knead them first, ram head, knead it, um, so it becomes better, more workable, takes out all the air bubbles, um, and once I get that kneaded, show you guys that, then I'll throw some stuff on the wheel, see how it does. Like I said, it's a little bit wetter than I usually like to throw, but that's alright. So I'll show you guys the side view first. And I've already kind of uh, pre-rolled these out, made them more circular. They don't have to be, they don't have to be a perfect sphere or anything like that. Just rounded. And then once you get used to your clay, you'll usually find the points where they're more oval. And that's the points where I like to start at. So say this more had more points right here I'd put it in between my palms like this place it on the ground and then you want to push in and down so I'll be pushing in and down almost like a diagonal push and you'll be using it with your palms pushing down and then kind of just bracing the back with your fingers so, this is how it'll look from the side. You can already see it starting to twist. And it has more defined edges that you'll hold on to. Pretty much the ram's horns as you're pushing down to its nose. Down and into its nose. And it's just finding that right rhythm. And yeah, you can see this is still a little wet because, well, it's not really sticking to the wood, but it's a lot stickier than it should be, I feel like. Um, but I do process all my own clay, so sometimes if I don't have enough dried out clay or the right consistency clay, I'll try and throw with uh, wetter bodies ones that are a little bit softer and found doing this about 20 to 30 times is a good number so spiral have a ram's head I'll go ahead and get some close-ups for you
All right. So I've got all of them done. We're going to put it on the wheel, see how it throws.
this is another form of a meeting uh, on the wheel bringing it up into a cone and pushing it back down just helps get the air bubbles out helps make a tighter bond with the clay um, so yeah I'd suggest doing this one too I'm gonna center it when you center make sure you pull both hands off evenly and build a cylinder. I've been practicing on cylinders for a while. I'm trying to get better at doing those. So we'll see how that goes. thing I like about the consistency of this clay is it's it's wet enough to really flow easily you don't have to keep wetting it down every pool and stuff like that um, so that's that's nice and it's more easily available if I really want to throw something today or tomorrow or something like that I don't have to wait for it to dry as much. Nice little vase. I'm done with that. The only bad thing about throwing soft clay, as, as soft as this, is that because because this pottery wheel doesn't have a bat attachment to it, um, I can't just I can't just keep going and going with this. If I tried taking this off right now and pulling it up uh, the this vase would deform so that's the only unfortunate part about it it's really thick right there though I don't know I might try and do one more pull up from the bottom Feel something. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like there's a crack at the bottom. Something like that.
already. I think it looks better than last time. That crack that was in the bottom, um, I kind of just pushed clay back down to the bottom to uh, compact it back in there. So hopefully, hopefully that'll be good. I don't feel anything on the outside anymore. The inside I think is good too. And then just time, putting a lot of time on the wheel, you'll be able to learn how to fix a lot of that stuff. But I think this is a nice little vase, so I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to mess it up anymore. And yeah, so, I mean, you could still th throw clay at different soft, uh, softer hardnesses, uh, but definitely knead it. I would get it, I would get the clay to a point where you can at least knead it and it doesn't stick to your hands or to whatever else you're kneading it on. If it, if it can do that, I think it's good to throw. So that was a little tutorial on kneading and just some pottery throwing. Thanks for watching, guys.